But yeah. speaking of Skeens, is he worth the hype? Oh, yeah. And then some. He is yeah. legitimately, like, you see what the crowds in Pittsburgh before Skeens, they were yeah. pretty, there was, there was not many people there. And now whenever he starts, it's a packed crowd. And there's just a buzz in that stadium. And every time he, he goes out and delivers, and he's throwing 100 plus miles an hour, got this splinker that's got hitters just buckling their knees. And he's just absolutely shoved. He is, I don't know if we've ever seen a player this early on in their career dominate like this. Obviously, like the Steven Strasburg hype was real when that happened. And there's been other players who have really kind of just burst onto the scene, but I cannot recall anybody quite like Paul Skeens. And there's so much pressure on him to go out there and perform, and he does it. And it's like he doesn't even break a sweat. It's right. really, it's just impressive. I'm, I'm already wondering in my head what his eventual contract, whenever he reaches free agency, looks like. I, I don't know because um, I mean, obviously, predicting that way into the future, you don't know what those contracts are going to look like at this point. But if he stays healthy, we're we're talking about what is very likely going to be the biggest contract for a pitcher in baseball history. It is going to yeah. be ridiculous. Well, and on top of that, it, it's at the perfect time for him, too, because this offseason, the Pirates are making a lot of stellar moves to go toward what they ultimately want as far as playoff contention. He gets promoted, goes above and beyond, comes as advertised, and then some, as you say. And you want to talk about the monetary value there. One of the better guys in Pirates sports history. People are camping out to go to this game. So the timing is definitely impressive, too. And on top of that, the pop culture aspect, I think he's making baseball sexy. And that's not just because of his beautiful girlfriend. But I think he's also making it where people are paying attention a lot more because of the era and the social media aspect involved for him. Oh, absolutely. Like there's so much attention both in baseball and just nationally on him because he's become a national story. And there's people who have not watched baseball who are watching baseball just to see Paul Skeens dominate these teams. Mm -hmm. And it's like it's that's the thing is he's not doing this against like weak competition right before the All-Star break. He ended up going seven no hit innings against the Brewers, who are the best team in, in that division. And they've been very good this year. And the fact that he made them look the way that he did. um, Obviously, the Brewers, after the game, they ended up making comments saying that they kind of let him off the hook, um, which, I mean, you didn't get a hit for seven innings. I don't know how much you really yeah. let him off the hook. Um, <laughs> but uh, he made them look bad for seven innings and made them look – I mean, he was far superior than them. He's just – the way that he's been able to dominate, his ceiling is so high. And with the way that they have Skeens going, they got Jared Jones. He's on the injury list right now. But you have him. You have Mitch Keller. Um, you have – some pieces on offense that you can build around. They need to go out at another bat or two, which I expect them to do. Mm -hmm. And I think they are an absolute nightmare to face in the wild card round. They are a very dangerous team. And with that pitching, they can really beat anybody. I agree. I'm excited to see what they ultimately do. 